What's good, YouTube? This is your homeboy, the Raiden Yoshi, here with a brand new episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the previous episode, we took down Wonderland, and off camera, I grinded quite a few levels. I am level 16 now. The reason for this being is I'm going to start grinding levels off camera solely because a lot of the bosses in Final Mix do a lot more damage in the original Kingdom Hearts. And because of that, I would much rather do level grinding off camera instead of just wasting your time with it. So, as you saw, I've, I'm currently going into gunning flight. I'm heading on to the next world. Um, fun fact, for the, just so you know, at level 15 when you take the shield, you do get the ability guard. And, um, final mix, just letting y'all know that. Um, but yeah, that is all besides the point. So we're currently on with the next world, going through another gummy flight path. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep showing gummy, I'm going to show gummy flights off, like, at least once. It's just like, after a while, I feel like it's less and less necessary to show this. Just because how long and cute these things can be done. But, I digress. It's not that big a video. But, yes, we're on our way to a new world. We completed Wonderland in our last video. Oh god, that barely broke. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm probably gonna go through the entire game with this gummy ship. And, that's entirely possible. But, in later gummy flight sequences, you will get one shot if you have anything. This is crazy. This is crazy. There, perfect. Yay. Although, you know, the one thing that makes this gummy flight sequence still enjoyable is the music. I really do love this music. It's like it's so upbeat, it's so cheery, and like you just bob your head back and forth too. <laughs> oh god. I don't know why, but the gu- well, I, not, I obviously know why. The gummy flight sequences bore me so much. Just... I don't know why. The Kingdom Hearts ones, they really bore me. While the Kingdom Hearts 2 ones, they're really exciting and fast-paced. But that is besides the point. Because we are in a new world, friends. <laughs> Welcome to Olympus Colosseum. Alright, so real quick, here in Olympus Coliseum, we have a couple trinities around here, so just, you may want to hit these real quick. So I do believe we get a couple of nice items from them. Mythos Shard, that's used for item synthesis, which we'll get into at a later point. Or not, I actually haven't decided from, because I have stated already, this is actually going to be a casual playthrough of this, not like my super informative. But even so, I'm still going out of the way to make enemy bios. Which I don't know why I am if this is a casual playthrough. It's just Kingdom Hearts and I kinda just feel obligated to buy our enemies when we encounter new ones. But now we, we enter the lobby. Let's talk to this guy over here. Um good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me? I gotta spruce this place up for the games. Alright, there's no problem. I don't mind being helpful. I like being helpful. So let's help spruce this place up for the games. We can do it. Okay, no, that's far too heavy. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little. Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? This here is the world famous Coliseum. Heroes only. 
and I got my hands full preparing for the game. So run along, pipsqueaks. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. Yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And we're heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this... You can't call yourself... The hero! Yeah! Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. Alright, so Phil is challenging us. And I never back away from a challenge. I'm ready. I'm ready. And uh, this brings us to just a little mini little mini game thing right here. So, very simply put, you just have to break all the barrels within the time limit. And only source finishing combo hit or break barrel. So your first few hits really don't matter. So long as your last hit breaks barrels. So what you want to really want to do is if you knock a barrel into another barrel. Whoa, that's not the button I meant to hit. As I was saying, if you knock a barrel into another one, then it usually will break the other one. But well, no, it will break the other barrel. So what you want to do for this one is come this way, take these four out. Also, having your ability slap shot equipped right here is really useful. Uh, off camera, just for anyone who cares, I actually changed the camera from automatic to manual simply because automatic was giving me some really screwed up camera angles. And granted, manually lining up the camera takes a little more time. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, I don't think I'm getting it this time. As I was saying, manually lining up the camera can sometimes be a very tedious prospect. But you know what? I don't mind compared to what could possibly happen. Oh, I still finished with 10 seconds to spare. I don't know why I mess that up a lot, but I always feel like I have no chance of making it in time. You know? You ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Want to be a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. And we attain the power of thunder and we learn the magic spell thunder. Uh, but that sucks, Phil. You being a lame and we can't go into games. Why you got sucks? Why you got suck so much, Phil? Uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Who are you? <laughs> oh, hey, hold on there, fuzzboy. Oh, wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? Well then, hey, get a load of this. Mm -hmm. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. And we have an entry pass. So with the entry pass, we're actually able to enter the game regardless of what Mr. Goatman says. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Blue Dude on Fire. You're really awesome. How'd you get this? Can we enter the games now? Well, I guess so. We'll start with the preliminaries. And so now... We are going to enter the game. Olympus Coliseum Preliminaries. Match 1, Shadow Scouts. So, here in Match 1, we actually have a new enemy. This is a Blue Rhapsody. Blue Rhapsodies are Ice Flying Heartless. They're related to the Red Nocturnes. They are weak to fire magic as well as they're dead. What? 
Okay. You ain't no heroes yet, but you ain't doing bad. Lucky you came to me for coaching. Something tells me he'll be a tough one to beat. Who knows, maybe I'll end up facing him. What I would like to say is, I'm mad that they made it cinematic for that just cloud walking by, but then the rest of it was just text boost. But as I was previously stated, the Rhapsodies are, they're like the Red Noxians, but they're very floaty and they'll bounce around. But then, the thing it would blue... <sighs> they did already. What I was trying to say about Blue Rhapsodies is they're weak to fire magic and they will absorb ice magic. So, typically fire magic is the better idea to take them out if you're going to use magic at all. Personally, I don't use magic to fight these guys. I feel just a good combo is the best way to take them out. Okay. And beat, boop, bop. And they're dead. Yeah, so this round they give us a combination of Blue Rhapsodies and Red Knocker. It can be a little annoying to deal with, but it's not all too bad. Where are you? I will kill you. Kill them all. They killed Donald and Goofy. They all deserve to die. Hey, Donald, you're so silly. Say, you're better than I thought, kid. Wish he was here to see this. Who? Hercules! He's a hero if there ever was one. Too bad he's off visiting his father. Alright, match for Shadow Platoon. So this is another reason why I grinded to level 16, because I was... I actually used my second attempt at recording this episode, and the first time I tried to record it, it's just like something came up and I had to stop, but I actually failed to complete this this um like one straight through at level 14 which caught me off guard the heartless hurt and do a lot of damage and I'm never expecting it in all honesty now and if you look at it all it takes is about one combo to kill any of the blue rhapsodies and I actually really like having the ability Slapshot on for that exact reason. Because Slapshot, it gives me a really fast second hit. Like, if you look, I s I'm actually going to use a potion for that. I'm getting a lot. But, huh, you did a good job. But, as I was saying, when Slapshot goes off, it's a quick hit. It's your first hit. Then you have a really quick follow-up for slap shot, and then you have your combo finisher. That little punk is your next opponent, okay? I don't blow it. Just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that kid to get to him. Come on. Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it. I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Jeez. Stiffer than the stiff's bag of homes. Still, suckers like him are hard to come by. <laughs> Now match six, the big one. This is the match that can actually give you a lot of trouble. There are two ways to approach this match, and the way that I've found have, I've had the most success with is take out as many of the little heartless as possible. If you're trying to fight the large body and they're in the way, they will get you killed on a regular basis. Just 
pressure on the large body. My potions aren't too important right now because I actually did stock up on them. Uh, oh damn, I thought the large body died. Yes! Okay, life's a little bit easier now. We're getting large bodies now. Final match Cloud. So this is Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife is a character from Final Fantasy VII. Cloud Strife is an optional win fight. You do not have to win this fight in order to progress the story. However, winning does give you a very nice chunk of experience, so it's in your best interest to try and win this fight. Now Cloud's main method of attacking is that little dash attack you saw him do. Now this is very similar to the Rookie fight on Destiny Island, where he will block a lot of your attacks and then follow up with just a quick like counter. So you really want to be careful. It's very easy to get through this fight with minimum hits. Ooh, damn. That thing has reach. Shit. As I said, this is not a you not to win this fight to progress. Although, obviously, it is nice to win a fight that gives you experience. Also, do not forget that you're sore and you have a machine gun. Ooh, damn. Shot it too many times. <laughs> That was dumb. Oh well. Whew, that was close. That was Sarbus, guarding the underworld. Hurt should be able to handle him, but then again, maybe not. This doesn't look good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go out to the costume gates. I'm going to re-equip items real quick. Now, my reasoning for doing this. when I re If I should fail this boss fight that is coming up, then instead of me having to re-equip my items again, all my items will still be equipped. That is my rationale for this. This is very good rationale. So now, you know what? It's time for us to help Hercules. Kid, you ain't entering the arena, are you? This ain't some match. This is for real. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I read that, I always think singing it, like, in the one song, I think it's by Eminem, I want to say. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it's by Eminem. Who's Hercules? I got two words of advice for you. Attack! All right, so this is Sarbaris, Guardian of the Underworld. Sarbaris is the boss of Olympus Coliseum. This can either be a very easy fight or a very difficult fight. It really just depends on what you make it. Now, when Sarbaris isn't moving like this, your best plan of action is to stand slightly off to the side of his head. The reason I say this is because by standing in front, you're leaving yourself very wide open to his bite attacks. Like such. 
the now the strategy I'm going to say is not a strategy for beating him quickly. It is a strategy for beating him with getting as few hits as possible. The best thing you want to do is to stand off to the side of Starburst, land a couple hits, and then jump back. By doing that, Starburst will almost never hit you. It's a very good strategy for this fight, if you don't care how quickly you take it out. But, as a whole, this fight can be a little tedious. Like, as you see, I'm literally just repeating the same technique over and over again. It's basically, I know Starburst is a lot of damn shit, shit, shit. Okay, so, when Starburst doesn't move, you cannot do anything to fight him, at least not that I know of. There's probably strategies that will allow you to fight him while this is going on, but with just my basic plan of action, which is survive, you really can't do anything to hit him when that happens. And also, I'm going to m mention one major issue with my strategy for this fight. It's basically, the most powerful hit in your combo is the finishing combo blow. But, you're relinquishing that using this combo. So you always need to keep that in mind. That is one major flaw of this technique. We're shooting giant magma balls of death at us again. God damn it. The toxic black purple mark of death. Whoa, the dodge rolls. Come on. And Goofy is back. Back again. I'm hitting square. I don't understand why Sora is jumping. Hey, square is dodge. It's not jump. Okay. Alright. Also. At this point in the game, you have no real reason to hold on to your magic. So what I like to do is just drain an entire empty bar of fire on a good chance. Fire. The reason I do that is because from hitting him, you'll rebuild MP. So it's it's quite likely that you'll refill your MP bar. So it's just, and at that we beat it. Draining an entire clip of fire is more useful than one would think. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes and confer upon the full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further... Hi, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? 
Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay, we'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. Obtain hero's license. And how do you feel about that terrible, terrible Hercules voice? That Sam Wise from Lord of the Rings, everybody. But at that, real quick, gonna go into equipment. I'm an idiot. I bought Don I bought Donald a new weapon and never equipped it like a dumbass. But that's besides the point. We get the Inferno Band from that battle. Inferno Band, it's a nice item. Beats the protector of our chain we had on. So, from this point, I'm actually going to end the episode before we leave the world. So next episode, we're going to leave this world and proceed on to the next world on our list. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you had, do me a huge, huge favor. Leave me a comment, a like, and please subscribe. Peace, peace, and deuce, deuce. See ya.